Hi, I'm Rachel from Gentle Frog. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. If you're having issues with your bookkeeping, please follow the link at the end of the video to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me. Thank you. In today's video of custom QuickBooks training, I want to talk to you about undeposited funds. I work with a lot of mentees and small business owners that are just getting to know QuickBooks. And oftentimes I feel like they try to identify what is in undeposited funds, but they go about it the hard way. And so I want to show you what I do. So first, let me take you to the balance sheet just so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm in the sample QuickBooks file. I'm going to go to balance sheet. Right here I look and I see undeposited funds. I have a balance of $2,062. What I will describe as the hard way of trying to identify what makes this balance is when people will click on this number and they'll get a list and then maybe they'll expand the date range a little bit and say, okay, if I can just, if I can just look at this, like I can add and subtract and look at the minuses, I can figure out like what numbers equal the 2062. I just want you to see what I do. I just go to the plus new in the upper left hand corner. I go to the right hand side and I click on bank deposit. When I click on bank deposit, it's going to show me a list of things that are sitting there in undeposited funds that when added together, they equal the amount of my undeposited funds. I know this seems very simple and possibly trivial to the more experienced people, but it's maybe once a week or so that I'm showing somebody that this is a faster way to identify what is in undeposited funds. So I thought if I just make a two minute video, it might save somebody a ton of time. I hope you guys have a great day. If there's anything that you need or anything I can make a video on for you, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you. Mm -hmm.